This is a video response to a forum question about saving text on images. I have some images here and I'm going to demonstrate that feature. When you edit an image, the image editor is all about editing tones of the image and sharpness, contrast, brightness, fill light, things like that. We don't have an option to add text to an image. But what we do have is the ability to add text on the page editor. So let me add this one print here. And just to demonstrate, I'll even give it a border. Let's uh, pick a color here for the border and I'll give it a noticeable half inch border. Then I'll go into the page editor. I wanna edit the page now. And here is where we can put text on the image. So I right click on the image, add floating text, click about where I want it to be. And then I'll even change the text color. Um, yeah, I'll just pick a white color and I'll type something here. Um, I'll just move the text to where I want it. Now I have text on the page. And remember that here we're editing the page. This is the page editor. So when I'm done with this, I can go back, I can see my print. And this text is an attribute of the page, not the image, because we edited the page here. But that's not a problem. We can print to file in order to get this in a JPEG if we like. So I'm going to go here and drop down printer and select print to file. And these are the attributes of the page because when you print to file, it's going to print the page. So I put a five by seven on this page initially. And if I want that five by seven to be 300 PPI, I can change this. I can change the color space. I'm not going to go into all of that. Um, I'm just going to click OK. And now we're in print to file mode here. So in order to get this image, we need to print it to a file. So we just click print. And now we're printing to a file. I'll choose JPEG. And because initially this will give you the entire page, so you'll have this white space around the image, I don't want that. I want to rip individual prints from the page so that I get this print by itself without the page around it. So I'm going to check this and you can go to user naming if you like, and it'll ask you what folder you want it in. I'm just going to do auto for this, um, but these options are here if you want them. So when I click OK, it's going to put it in a subfolder underneath the one that I'm currently in, in the thumbnails. Click OK. It asks me, uh, you can't print in the same folder. Do you want to print in a subfolder named Q prints? I say fine. Again, you can do user naming and put it anywhere you want, but I'm just doing it this way. Now, see, it's printing now, and it printed that. It asked me if I want to go to this output folder it created. I'll say yes, and here's my print. I'll bring it up with a space bar full screen, and you can see there's my image. It's a JPEG, and it contains the border and the uh, text that I put on there. Everything that was on the page it basically rips that image off the page and saves it as an image. So that's how you would add text to an image and save it. Um, again, because where you add the text is here in the page editor, the text is part of the page. So in order to print that to an image, you have to print it, printing to file. So I wanted you to see a demonstration of how that works and hope this helps.